Hi, my name is Antonio Hemmer. I am dressed up as Niccolo Fontana Tartaglia. He is the mathematician that I have researched and will be talking about today. He was born in Brescia, Italy in 1499. In Tartaglia's earlier years, his father delivered newspapers in towns next to his town. Sadly, one day, Tartaglia's father was murdered by a group of robbers. And to make matters worse, in 1512, King Louis XII and his troops invaded Brescia. Brescia was defending for seven days until King Louis' forces broke free. The French killed many residents, and one troop sliced Tartaglia's jaw and palate. His mother cared for him. However, he would never be able to speak correctly again, and he grew a beard to cover all the scars the troops left on his face. He gave himself the nickname Tartaglia because that means stutter. He had a lot of problems with speech. On a better note, he was the author and translator of many books. He translated writings of Archimedes and of Euclid in Italian, and he himself wrote a treatise on retrieving sunken ships. Tartaglia was also the first mathematician to ever apply mathematics to investigate how cannonballs took flight when they were fired from a ship. This was in one of his books called Nova Scientia, which means new science. On a mathematics note, he became a mathematics teacher in 1534. He was the creator of two influential things in mathematics history. One of those things was solving cubic equations. Another mathematician, Girolamo Cardano, wanted to know the secret of cubic equations. Tartaglia did not want to tell him because he feared Cardano would tell more people about the secret. However, Cardano promised he would not publish anything over the equation. So Tartaglia finally told Cardano the secret of solving cubic equations. Cardano, a little later, saw an unpublished book by a man called Cipriani del Ferro, that had the exact same equation Tartaglia had created. However, Ferro did not steal the equation from Tartaglia. He came up with it independently and earlier than Tartaglia. Cardano then stole the equation because it had an earlier date on it than the equation that Tartaglia produced. Cardano believed he would break his promise with Tartaglia because Ferro came up with the equation first. Now mathematicians credit both Cardano and Tartaglia for the solving of cubic equations, so the formula is known as the Cardano-Tartaglia formula. The second thing Tartaglia is most known for is the formula of finding the volume of a tetrahedron. The formula is most known as Tartaglia's formula, and it looks like this. Sadly, on December 13, 1557, in Venice, Italy, Tartaglia died. Because of Tartaglia's two very big accomplishments, he was one of the most influential mathematicians. 